Hello, welcome to 3D Print on X. This tutorial covers the calibration of E steps. First, let's understand what E steps is. Every stepper motor turns in steps. This NEMA 17 motor takes 200 steps to complete one full revolution. We can increase its accuracy by using Palolo stepper motor drivers, which are configured to micro step up to 1 by 16th of each step. So after connecting to Polulo driver, it takes 3200 steps to complete one full revolution. The purpose of this calibration process is to accurately control the flow of material from the nozzle. Material extruded is directly proportional to the material feeded into the nozzle. As you can see, in this cube more material is extruded with very high E steps value. And in this red cube, exact amount of material required is extruded with calibrated E steps value. Let's go through some pre calibration checks. First, check if this gear has any free movements. If it has, tighten the nuts inside the assembly behind the gear and this nut. Next check if the hob bolt is clean. There shouldn't be any dust. If there is any clean using tweezer or any brush. Now put the idler in its place. Tighten the idler. The idler must be very tight. You should move only a bit if you pull it hard. The flow rate that is amount of plastic feeded into the nozzle is controlled using this NEMA 17 motor through this gear and at the end this hob bolt. This bolt that is hob bolt pushes the filament into the nozzle. Let's begin with the calibration process. The formula for calibration is E steps per mm equals motor steps per revolution that is 200 for this NEMA 17 motor multiplied by driver micro step that is 16 and the whole thing is, will be multiplied by big gear teeth that is the total number of teeth present in this gear divided by small gear teeth that is the total number of teeth in this small gear and the whole thing will be divided by hob effective diameter that is the diameter effective diameter of the hob bolt which comes up to 10.9 and it will be multiplied by pi that is 3.14 so the result will come up to 270 To put this value into Marlin, open Arduino ID, go to file, open, browse to the folder where you have kept your Marlin firmware. Open Marlin.ino. Go to configuration.h Go down until you find this line This is line 290 You will find hash defined default access steps per unit Here you will find this number 80 Which is steps per mm of x axis Then another 80 steps per mm of y axis this 4000 is steps per mm for z axis this 270 is what we are concerned about you can put value around 270 or whatever the value you got from the formula put this value this into the arduino board 
using vernier scale from the top of the extruder body mark 100 mm use cd marker this is our 100 mm and also mark 120 mm this is our 120 mm now in repeat your hose set the nozzle temperature or heat extruder to 230 degrees celsius remember the filament will melt easily at 230 degrees celsius so keep at its maximum temperature now in repeat your host set the speed mm per minute to 100 and extrude 100 mm then click this extrude button as soon as you click the nozzle will start extruding check the markings you have made listen to the sound of the extruder carefully if it is making any clicking sound loosen up the idler that is our 100 mm and 120 mm marks coming down if the settings are good if the e steps value entered is correct it should stop at assembly body the 100 mm mark should stop at assembly body as you can see it has gone a bit more than 100 mm around 110 mm so the value which we entered 270 is little bit more to change this you don't have to go to marlin or arduino id again just use your repeater host manual control page and in this g code column enter m92 space e and our new e step value let's keep it at 265 and click send repeat the same step mark at 100 and 120 mm then in repeat your host click to extrude 100 mm now after setting new temporary e step value in our repeater host we have marked at 100 and 120 mm now these two markings are coming down if the new e step value is correct the 100 mm mark should stop exactly at extruder body Now uh, that's our 100 mm mark coming close to extruder body. And our 100 mm mark has gone a little bit down from the extruder body, maybe around 3 mm. 
it is ok if it stops close to the extruder body it happens due to the varying temperature in the nozzle or due to the back pressure from the nozzle repeat the same steps until you get the filament to move exactly 100 mm once you have got your new e-step value go to marlin firmware in arduino id go to configuration.h and change the value which you got it is 2, 6 and 5 now upload this into arduino board it will take few seconds once it is upload you are done now let's test print something once you upload your new e steps value go to repeat your host go to load download any calibration object we have downloaded perimeter width from thingiverse open it go to slicer settings and click configure this is the slicer settings change the layer height to 0.2 first layer height to 0.3 and perimeters to 3 solid layers top 3 and bottom 3 and infill make it 1 and rectilinear in speed change it to 50 50 small perimeters 50 mm per second external perimeters at 70 percent infill at 60 mm per second solid infill at 100 mm per second now in advanced change everything to 100 percent except infill keep it at 120 percent now in filament settings put the diameter as 1.75 mm extrusion multiplier as 0.8 set the temperature of the extruder to 230 degrees celsius and other layers at 230 for the bed temperature keep first layer at 70 and other layers at whatever the temperature you like we have kept at 55 now slice with slice 3R now click run job as you can see the printer is printing the layers very neatly there is no overlapping layer if you have set your each step value correctly and the slicer settings you will see very neat layers there will be no gap and there will be no overlapping as you can see now it is printing the third layer and there is no gap between the extrusions and it is not overlapping or squirting once your test object is printed neatly try with different test objects with different settings that's it in this tutorial now your e-steps values is calibrated thank you